In this video, I'll be solving May 2019, Paper 2, Question 2. Part A. Simplify completely Part 1. 3P squared multiplied by 4P to the power of 5 for one mark. So, I will multiply the coefficients here. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. And using the laws of indices here, when we multiply and the bases are the same, we add the powers. So, 2 plus 5 here is 7. Part 2. Simplify 3x over 4y cubed divided by 21x squared over 20y squared for 2 marks. So I'll write here 3x all over 4y cubed and I want to change this division sign to a multiplication sign. But by doing so, I need to invert this algebraic term. So this is 20y squared all over 21x squared. Now I want to simplify the coefficients. So 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 21 here, 7, 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 20, 5. So, I'm going to multiply out numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. So, this is 5xy squared all over 7x squared y cubed. Now, by the laws of indices here, when the bases are the same and we are dividing, we subtract the powers. And we know here that any quantity to the power of 1 is itself. So this x by itself here is x to the power of 1. So I could write here that 5 over 7, 1 minus 2 here is minus 1. So this is x to the power of minus 1. 2 minus 3 here is minus 1. So this is y to the power of minus 1. So therefore, we could remove now these negative signs by placing these terms in the denominator. So this becomes here 5 over 7xy. Part B. Solve the equation 3 over 7x minus 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 0 for 3 marks. Now, in order to simplify this equation, I will multiply throughout by the LCM. And the LCM is the product of the denominators. So I will write here, multiplying throughout by the LCM. And the LCM here is 7x minus 1 multiplied by x. And I want you to notice here that the LCM will only end up in the numerator because you'll be multiplying throughout by 7x minus 1 multiplied by x all over 1. And 1 multiplied by anything here is itself. So you'll just end up with the denominators. So I'll write here 3 multiplying here by 7x minus 1 multiplied by x all over 7x minus 1 plus 1 multiplied here by 7x minus 1 multiplied by x all over x. And this is equal to 0 multiplied by 7x minus 1 multiplied by x. Now, let's simplify. Notice here that this denominator will cancel with this numerator. This denominator will cancel with this numerator. And 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So, this becomes here 3x plus 1 multiplied by 7x minus 1 is 7x minus 1. And this is equal to 0. So, 3x plus 7x is 10x. Take the minus 1 across equal sign. It will become positive. Divide by 10. Divide by 10 x here is equal to 1 over 10. Part C. When a number x is multiplied by 2, the result is squared to give a new number y. Part 1. Express y in terms of x for one mark. So the number here is x and x is multiplied by 2. So this is 2x and then it is squared to give a new number y. So 2x squared is equal to y. So 2x all squared here is 4x squared is equal to y. 
switching this equation around, y is equal to 4x squared. Part 2. Determine the two values of x that satisfy the equation y is equal to x and the equation derived in C part 1 for two marks. Now the equation derived in C part 1 is y is equal to 4x squared. So I'll write that here. y is equal to 4x squared and I'll call this equation 1. The second equation they gave us here is y is equal to x. And I'll call this equation 2. And I will substitute here equation 2 into equation 1. So wherever I see y here, I'll replace it with x. So x here is equal to 4x squared. And I will take this x across the equal sign. So here will become 0. And this is 4x squared minus x. I'll switch this equation around now. So this is 4x squared minus x is equal to 0. And we will factorize this equation here. Now the HCF of these two terms here is x. So 4x squared divided by x here is 4x minus x divided by x here is minus 1. This is equal to 0. So x here is equal to 0 or 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. And I will solve this in the equation here for x. So 4x is equal to 1 divided by 4 divided by 4. x here is equal to a quarter. So therefore, x is equal to 0 or x is equal to a quarter.